Welcome to another video for Not Part of Your Scene, uh, where we do mostly comic reviews. You can find us at Not Part of Your Scene on Instagram, or if you just want to find my personal account, at Chris Sarda, at both Instagram and Twitter. Typically, we're doing comic reviews here. Uh, I have a big stack, you know, I have to review this beast later. whoop de doo I'll give you a hint if I review it. Probably won't buy issue two. Anyway, today though what I want to talk about is um, basically what I've been doing uh, on Instagram. I've been, you know, Instagram channel at Not Part of Your Scene. I've been playing with Instagram TV, using their longer video, um, trying to do the less ums too. That's driving me nuts without editing. I've been doing their longer videos on Instagram, Instagram TV. Uh, I have a limit of 10 minutes. I've been doing a... A uh, web TV show called New to Manga, which is basically me reading manga for the first time. I've read very little in the past and I only have a light history with it. And I've been reading all kinds of cool stuff from popular stuff to some of the more literary stuff because, of course, in Japan it is more literary. I was doing notes um, for the Inuasha video because I read part one for Inuasha, and it was going to really focus on the fact that the, that the tomb I read or the, or the part I read is, is in Spanish because Inu, Inuasha, and I'll do, I guess you can't see that Spanish, huh? Doo -doo -doo. Who knows if you can see that? Anyway, it's in Spanish, checked out from the library. And a lot of this, a lot of what I was going to talk about was uh, it being in Spanish and you know, learning languages through comic books and manga and stuff. And it made me realize that when I lived in Poland, I was actually learning a lot of Polish through manga. I would buy the manga and it, I understood probably, depending on the page or the section or what they're talking about, probably 60 to 80, 60 to 85% of it. But I could follow it. I can see the pictures. I knew enough words. Even when I didn't know words, I can continue on. And then also... It's 90% dialogue, so that helps too, because a lot of what you read isn't always dialogue, or it's the real corny ones in, in the beginning language learning material where it's like, I went to the train station, donde es el baño, that kind of stuff, right? So this is much cooler, what may way more interesting. So anyway, I just want to talk about sort of language learning and using comics to do it, which, which I have. And, and I don't really, this is more of a discussion piece, this is not a how-to piece, because the truth is, is I never mastered it. I always go do something else or do something new. It's, it's my nature. So the language is obviously, my native language is English. I'm from the United States. My family uh, is from Argentina, and I mostly spoke or speak broken Spanish to my grandparents or my grandmother now. And never really got Spanish, even though I grew up in Mexican neighborhoods and stuff. It just wasn't, I just didn't speak it that much. But I had it in me. And and I used it and I did speak it a little bit. So it sort of layered on there. There's a lot of Latin people uh, around the Southwest that are the same. They're, you know, third, fourth generation. They didn't use that much Spanish. They used it with their grandparents, something like that. And I don't want to lose it. So I decided when I started this manga thing, I saw Inuasha at the library in Spanish, and Inuasha happens to be something that I know because it's really my, really one of my only forays into anime. Me and my wife, when we met and I moved to Poland, we were watching Inuasha, we watched basically the entire thing uh, in English at the time. And it was like our thing to do together when we were like in a new relationship uh, about to get married. So I actually know the story well, so it seemed perfect uh, to come back to reading comics in a different language for all the reasons I mentioned. And, uh, and it's worked out great. I loved it. I remembered, I remembered the story, and it's helped, it's helped a lot knowing the story. There's a lot of Spanish that I, in Inuasha, obviously, because it's fantasy and it's manga and they're fighting demons and whatnot and, and doing their things and, and using tenses I don't normally use. So there's a lot of stuff I don't use with my grandparents in here that I've seen or I'm on practice on or I've avoided using. And this is just good for exposure. 
uh, of course, you need to do a lot more than just read one part of Inuyasha. You need to continue to do it. So I've decided that in this, in this manga thing, for the simple fact that it's already translated, sometimes I worry about, you know, reading something in Spanish. You know, I worry about it because... I don't know why I worry about it. Actually, I haven't thought about it in years. I've not been practicing languages very much. I've been more math focused, a uh, bit math and business focused in my career and stuff. So uh, within Yuasha, since I know the story, I'm only going to read it in Spanish. I'll be picking it up at the library, as many Spanish editions they have. Uh, something really cool that I forgot, I started going through my language learning collection and some of this, you know, obviously I have a lot of stuff in Polish, is that I actually have in Yuasha number two, can you see the number two? I actually have Inuasha number two in Polish. So, you know, these are harder to get, obviously, and they're not going to be at the library, the Polish ones. So I can actually read number two in Polish and Spanish, which will be fun to do. Uh, and those are, are ones I'm not going to read in English. Um, so, you know, it's in a foreign language. I know the story very well. I think that if you were going to do this because you wanted to learn a language, you know, I, I would balance the, the jump in and the learn a base first. So I think jumping in is great. And if you can avoid the frustration that comes along with learning language and not understanding what's going on and reading much slower than you probably do in your regular speed, in, in your native language then you should jump in. But at the same time, having some sort of base will help a lot. Like if you just got one of the teach yourself books or the colloquial books in whatever language you wanted to do and you didn't even work on it, you know, you just, you just breezed through it. Like you literally try to do is read through it, read the grammar BS, read the, read the dialogues inside do, whether you get them right or wrong, do the dictations and the problems and just try to get through it, try to get through it in a week, just so you have some base, that would be even better. But then again, that's also very, very frustrating to do. Most of us don't like doing those language books, including me. So, um, so, I mean, I do do them sometimes. I guess I do like them, but I understand how most people won't. If it's an easy or if it's a more common language, it'd be good to do something like Michelle Thomas. And I know there's a bunch of negatives on Michelle Thomas, don't get me wrong. But if you got through what his first uh, set of DVDs or lessons, you, you get to sort of see how the language connects together. You won't have a huge vocabulary, but I don't have a huge vocabulary in Spanish, you know, at all. But I understood what was going on here. So those are some of the things you could do. I think it's the best way to learn a language. And I know there's a bunch of academics and other people, language learners on YouTube that are way better than me, but you got to do something that keeps you interested. So there could be this great method, but if it bores your brains out, then you're not going to do it. So reading comic books is basic. So the language is mostly basic with occasional specialized uh, vocabulary. If there was a Star Trek ma manga, for example, you're going to have weird, you, weird uh, quantum technical jargon in there. But for the most part, it's basic dialogue, and it's it's as easy it's going as it's going to get in popular culture. Comic books too, if you can find them. Uh, and I like the idea of having a base. But if if you can just jump in, or you know a little bit of the language, and you already know the story, then that's great. So from the Spanish point of view. And you can find my actual review of this comic. And I'll talk a little bit about language in that too on Instagram TV, like I told you, where I'm doing the, the new manga series. But in concert with that, since it's available to me and it's not going to cost me a ton of money, I can get it from the library, I'm going to do a, a couple popular mangas in, you know, either English and Spanish or English and or. English, Spanish, English, Spanish, English, Spanish, or something like that. Whatever. So Inuasha, I'm only going to read in Spanish. I've already seen the anime. Uh, I, I, Even though I have good feelings towards it, I've sort of grown out of it, I think. I think that I've read enough other stuff that Inuasha has its place in my manga history. But it's not... 
I see the holes and the corniness and, and some of the stuff that's dialed in. And a lot of my stereotypes in manga actually come from this. And I found now that there's not a ton other. And so I don't want to go and reread this in Spanish. I've already seen it in English. And it's a good test to read it this way. It makes your mind think different because it's been a decade since I watched Inuyasha. But I remember the story as I read it. I remember the things that were happening. Then there's Naruto. And I, I just know, that's not Naruto, that's My Hero Academia. Then there's Naruto, and this is Naruto, I don't know how to pronounce it. Now this is, I think, kids manga. I know it's very popular here in the United States. I don't know what it's about. I don't know if it's more Dragon ball -y. I don't know if it's Shonen, which is Young Men. I don't know what it is. And I'm going to read that one I have here, uh, Spanish, English, Spanish. So I think that this is a little bit easier, probably closer to my, um, what should be my level of Spanish. I don't know. I can change these anytime I want. So this Naruto is actually going to be read three times by me and I'm going to read it fast. I'm not going to care because I know it's simple and the English one, hopefully I can just churn through that in, a, in an hour. So this one is going to be read three times Spanish, then in English, then in Spanish and no hurry. I think my, in my head, I want it to be, uh, consecutive, but, uh, you know, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know if I care to do it consecutive or not. So Spanish, English, then Spanish. Um, and then My Hero Academia, I'm just going to read it in English. And I don't know if this is, I know this is a popular one too, but I don't know if it wants intelligence, one's showing, one's for kids, one's not for kids. I don't know how that works for these yet because I haven't read them and I, I only know them because I'm in the world of comics and you, can, you can't avoid manga completely. So that's My Hero Academia, and this one will be read. This is the English version. I'll read the English version, and then I'll go check out the Spanish version. I think they have the Spanish version in the library. Hopefully they do. And then the other other one I, I got, and I don't know why. I think this is more what I'll call like literary manga, is Spirit of Wonder. This is the Spanish version, uh, and I can't remember what, what made me grab this. This is by Kenji uh, Tsuruda. And I think it's more literary, more uh, higher level fantasy. So I may just read this in Spanish and then read the English one and continue in English. I have to see where he was nominated or, or what put this on my radar. I checked out so much manga at once that I sort of forgot. But this one's in Spanish, but we won't stick to it in Spanish. And this one might be a little bit tougher, so it'll be interesting. I'll read it last after I get through some of this here. Anyway, so I just wanted to point out what I was uh, doing I do still have my Polish manga that I forgot all about. I forgot I even owned this one. Which, where is it? Rapa. And these are the ones I really read. I probably read this Super Chuoviec part one book. That's super, that's Locke Superhuman. I probably read that going on four or five times. Um, I definitely read, I definitely read part two at least once. And... And I, I'm, I don't think I read part three. But I remember my Polish was good enough that I was understanding what was going on. There, you know, Polish has these long, weird verbs and a much more difficult um, verb. Noun changes are declinations and verb changes are conjugations. So much more difficult conjugation than Spanish. And then Spanish or English has very little to no noun declination and Polish is filled with it, you know, so those getting, sometimes that gets pretty tough, but you know, once you're in the groove and you're feeling it, it you actually understand it because a lot of this manga is not rocket science. And then I have these two I never really read. I don't know how I feel about in a language I'm not good at. All we could find was, uh, uh, parts two and three for, um, Sayuki and this scribe book. So those are in Polish. I haven't practiced Polish in a long time. I'll probably start up again, especially because it's with manga. So anyway, that's the story. That's uh, learning language through manga and comics. You know how it can help you. Uh, what you could do. Probably my base recommendation is is just to get some easy base, even if it's a week or two weeks, or you just finished Spanish one. That's good enough for me. If you just finish finished Spanish one, that's enough to jump into a manga you've already read or an anime you've read or you've watched and jump into its manga. That would be perfect, actually. So anyway, thank you for watching. 
Remember, go to IGTV, Instagram TV, watch my new to manga series where I just probably look like a fool. I got a real cool, I'm going to talk about Inuyasha. This one's a little bit more literary by uh, Sh Shigeru Mizuki, uh, Onward Towards Our Noble Death. So a lot of cool stuff coming up. I'm going to do another video on Goodnight Poon Poon. I'm now pronouncing it correctly. I didn't give it a fair shake. I've started, you know, reading about some of these authors and their ideas more, and it's it's made me rethink some things for the more literary manga. So it's just a lot of discovery, really fun. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great night.